Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Today's Thursday, February 9th, and we are here with your morning announcements. Are you in need of company or a safe place to eat? Student lunch buddies are available every Friday in HM2 during early lunch and in the culinary, <laughs> in the culinary building during late lunch. The 2022 to 2023 yearbook is on sale for $90. You can get one uh, by scanning the QR code on screen. Also, the deadline for senior ads is today, so make sure to get those if you want it. Now, let's see what's new with the news. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Daniel Gandhi. And I'm Damon Ramos, and welcome to your In the News Update. For the second time in a week, a New Jersey councilman was found dead. Councilman Russell Heller was in his car in a PSDG parking lot when a former worker approached his car and shot him. Police identified the shooter as former employee Gary T. Curtis. A former employee at PSDG was found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound and was, de was declared dead at the scene. This, this came exactly one week after Eunice Dunford, another, another New Jersey councilman, was found shot and killed. On Monday, President Biden had his annual State of the Union address to Congress. He talked about unemployment being at an all-time low and jobs created being at an all-time high. Also under Bre President Biden's leadership, our nation has seized nearly 15,000 pounds of fentanyl at the border. Domestically, they have seized 26,000 pounds of fentanyl and denied nearly $9 billion of profits to drug traffickers. During his address, several Republicans were heckling Biden, especially Marjorie Taylor Greene, who accused him of being a liar when he was talking about potential cuts to Medicare and Social Security. Speaking of the State of the Union, Union, Tyree Nichols' parents attended the meeting where they were recognized after the son was, son was killed in the brutal attack by police. Documents released Tuesday providing a scathing account of what authorities called the blatantly unprofessional conduct of five officers in involved in the fatal police beating of Tyree Nichols during a traffic stop last month, including new revelations about how one officer took and shared pictures of the blooded victim. The officer, Demetrius Haley, stood over Nichols as he lay, lay propped against the police car and took photographs, which Haley sent to another officer and a female acquaintance. According to the documents released by the Tennessee Police Officers, Standards and Training Commissions, the five officer, officers have all been fired and charged with second-degree murder. Also on Monday, more than 19,000 people have been killed and tens of thousands injured after a magnitude 7.8 earthquake. Turkey and Syria. Syria. Thousands of buildings collapsed during the earthquake and aid agencies are particularly worried about northwestern Syria where more than 4 million people were already relying on humanitarian assistance. Freezing weather conditions are further endangering survivors and complicating rescue efforts and more than 100 aftershocks are struck the region. That's all the news we have this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Daniel Gandhi. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back, Back to, to the, the Anchors. anchors. Nice new news. Finally, let's check out BSU's fun fact of the day. What's up, CEO? My name is Mika. And I'm Rudolph. And here's your Black History fun fact of the day. On June 17, 2021, President Joe Biden announced that the 19th of June, known by many as Juneteenth, was officially designated as a national holiday. Long celebrated by black Americans as the day in 1865 when slavery effectively ended. Despite the Emancipation Proclamation having been read in 1863, Juneteenth is a pivotal day in black history, and its position as an official holiday was long overdue. Look out for more black history fun facts throughout the month presented by your black community. And, and see, see you next time. time. Well, that's all we got for you today, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy International, International Women's Day and Girls Day, Day, Day Wolfpack. Of science. <laughs>